Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day, and this beautiful evening, whatever, wherever you are, I hope you're having a good time. Uh, anyway, what we're going to be talking about is, is uh, operators and overloading operators in classes. Now this is a really important thing, I kind of touched on that on my earlier example where we had this operator overloaded, the, uh, the indexing operator, but I'm going to show you step by step a few things uh, from from start right so the next videos are going to be about operators and, and these important things that you need to think about when uh, copying classes and and uh, you know uh, uh, like uh, the copy constructor which we're going to be doing today what happens if you don't have it versus having it right so let's make a class an important class let's say class uh, what, what are we going to call it let's say dice because we like dice right dice now dice has is gonna have a private variable and a public public part. Dice has a constructor, like usual, right? Int number int value. Um, and then we have a destructor. Just like that. Uh, or actually we'll define later there we go uh, sorry I kind of lost my voice there <coughs> you're gonna have to bear with me in the here uh, and what we're gonna have is int max value because we're gonna toss this and to have a dice actually do we need to tie toss the die I don't think we need to toss the die I just think we need to uh, make sure that it has a pointer in it now this isn't gonna make any sense <laughs> but <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and and make max value a pointer. For some reason, we wanted to make it a pointer. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna do dice. When we define this uh, int value, we're gonna have to make max value a new int with the value with the value value basically. But what this does is this is completely unnecessary. Uh, but we did, what we did was we made a pointer to an integer and we dynamically allocated new memory um, for max value as a new integer. Okay? And, but this, this is going to help us show deep copying versus shallow copying. I'm just going to type that here. Shallow copy and deep copy. Bro. And the difference between these two is really important, especially when you have dynamic arrays and stuff. Um, so here we go. We have a dynamically, we have a pointer basically in the class, and something is dynamically allocated. So dice. Let's make the destructor, um, just like that, and we'll say delete, delete uh, max value, just like that. This doesn't really matter. I like using this always. Um, because it helps me keep track of stuff that is part of the class. So here we go. We have a destructor and a constructor. Now what happens now? Let's make a dice with the value 10. Okay. Now let's say system pause. And whoops. System pause. And ST or C out. Dice D1. And let's say D1. Mm. We, we need a get value function. Void get value. Const. Let's just go ahead and re return this. This max value. Just like that. The reason I dereference this is that it's a pointer. But you return... Whoops, sorry about that, int. I am totally beat. I am completely beat, tired, and done. Completely done, bro. Stupid symbols. Okay, here we go. And we're just going to print this out. Get value. And that line. Whew. Okay. Let's see what happens. We should get a 10. We should get a 10. We got a 10. Okay, now... The thing with whoops, the thing with deep copying versus shallow copying is that when you have a regular integer, 
okay you have a regular integer what happens is that in memory this is going to let's say the stack versus the heap we have our 10 here we have a dice with the value 10 and we're gonna create a dice a dice d2 equals uh, d1 so what happens here is that we're creating a new dice using another dice right and what happens is that the 10 here is going to if this was a regular integer the t it would be totally in the copy constructor the default copy constructor it's called uh, does exist here we don't specify it but C++ has its own right so it's going to basically do this it's going to go through dice and it's going to take all the memory variables and simply use the this operator uh, and just uh, you know assign assignment operator and just assign value a to value b right it's just going to shove stuff over it's not going to do anything special but with pointers the problem is that if we had a regular integer the 10 in the stack would become a 10 in the other integer the one we're copying to right the, the max value in here would be 10 because you can do that you can do int a equals int b but with a pointer what that does is that pointer is going to get the value from dice 2's pointer is going to get to be pointing to dice one's max value and what happens then well you get all kinds of errors you get uh, like you know it's it's not two different variables it's pointing to the same variable that's a big issue especially when you delete something because if dice one is deleted dice two isn't pointing to a max value anymore it's not pointing to anything and when you try to delete that it's gonna crash you're gonna crash because it's pointing to a a nonsense value right so uh, you need to remember that and in that case you need to tell C++ hey look just stop here use my copy constructor because I have a pointer in here I need to do something special I need to make a special case for this to work okay so how do you how do you do that well you just go ahead and do this dice okay dice um, and then you just do this and then you do a const object you can call this whatever you want but I us usually call it object and it is it is just a constructor just like this one but it takes a dice object another dice object and what it does is what we're gonna do is we're gonna define this here and make sure and make sure that uh, this pointer isn't just assigned like it this this isn't happening uh, this max value equals object dot max value right this is not supposed to happen. This is going to be pointing to object's max value. We don't want that. What we want to do is new int object max value and dereference that. Bam! So we're copying, we're making a new integer in max value and we're copying, because remember this is only called once. Only called once when uh, a dice is created. Copy constructor isn't called again ever. So this is going to be called instead of the regular constructor okay so we're gonna to have to do everything we do in the regular one just with a special case uh, with another object in play here and we can access objects max value even if it's private because we're in the same class and we're in the constructor so we we don't have a problem here um, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a new memory location and make a new integer with the copied value from the other object so remember that there's a big difference between giving one pointer the address to the other pointer instead of copying the 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 value the data and putting it in a new memory location so here we go so what this is going to do is uh, we're gonna just print out d2 d2 print this out wait uh, what I have to do is do this it's like that. Wait, what happened? D1 identifier not found. Wait, I did something wrong here. Uh, D1, D10. Um, undeclared identifier. Oh, uh, I must be missing something here. This object return max value. Uh, I mean, it should be fine. 
Oh, whoops. What am I doing? <sighs> okay. That's kind of dumb. But, uh, let's see. So, 10-10. Okay? 10-10. And no errors with the delete. Now, I, I think this should work since it's the same thing. I mean, the assignment operator is going to be used as the copy constructor. Like, it's going to be called anyway. Now, if we did this now, d2 equals d1, this is a totally different thing because dice has been created already. Okay, it's been declared, it's been created. So copy constructor can't be called again. The assignment operator is going to be called. Now, in this case, the, that's a problem as well. We need to uh, create a assignment operator as well for this special case with pointers. Okay, so anytime you have a pointer, in a class you need to define a copy constructor that handles this special case and a assignment operator now well, I'm gonna do that in the next video so we don't have too much to swallow in one time but just remember this is only called once instead of the regular constructor now I just wanna see if this works if my theory is correct and I remove this then we should get 10 in both but we're gonna get a crash yep we got a crash okay that's because it tried to delete something that wasn't it was a nonsense it was rubbish so uh, what we could do is do another thing for the assignment operator is that we make a dice with 12 okay now we try to assign d2 equals d1 now it's gonna start pointing to that let's see if that works and crashes as well yep it did that but it's pointing to the same space and memory it's not two different variables it's the same variable and that's gonna give us crash so there you go that's it remember this and work hard and make sure you you handle these special cases with the pointers so yeah thanks for watching take care have a great evening and all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video bye bye